Trade and Cashmere Community Board. Um, I just wanted to mention briefly, apropos uh, Waimari Fendleton, when they talked about the monarch butterflies, we've had the same person in our ward commenting about the number of um, butterflies that have been killed, and we've given the project $250 from our off-the-ground fund to ring the uh, relevant trees with um, steel to stop the rats getting up and killing the butterflies. Um, we have, like other places, do significant trees in various parts of our ward that um, house the butterflies over winter, and it's been quite apparent that they're not there this winter. I just want to comment bri briefly before we start on the um, the grants. It's just it's just the difference between a smaller ward and a smaller board area, sorry, and the rohi of the larger boards. Um, is that our grants took up a page this year and it used to be several pages and we do miss those projects in those areas and those suburbs that we have lost and but we still contribute for instance to um, Christchurch South Community Gardens Trust who's over the way in central now but whose work um, benefits our community too. Um, but we hope that if there's any more redrawing of the boundaries, that the board areas become more equal. Um, we are in the middle of the, um, of the long-standing riverbank stabilisation program, and the water engineers came to see us again, as they always do, to present brilliantly, as they always do, on the changes that are going to be occurring further down the Heathcote River um, in terms of our bank stabilisation. It is remarkable some of the changes that are occurring to the Heskett. The widening of the river um, is a really apparent in some of our areas now, and it demonstrates how the uh, rivers were deliberately narrowed and how that has contributed to the flooding that has occurred in recent years. And um, the widening of the river gives it much more natural appearance um, um, when we walked from the service centre at Beckenham over to look at the river, the river was tumbling down between its banks and looked very, um, that doesn't look as natural as it's going to look because of the rocks that they have put in to stabilise the banks, but growth of the, uh, of the plantings will make a difference. But the river was tumbling down opposite the service centre, you almost felt as though you could get, it, get in, not me of course, but in a kayak and um, have a race down the river. And the um, outward appearance of the river is much more natural and we're seeing that we're already seeing the benefits of it. It's a pity that we can't even make them wider. <coughs> in some areas, some of our river is of course drains instead of being a natural looking river. And it'll be interesting to see um, if and when they do changes, for instance, in the Sprayden domain, it would be interesting to see it um, looking with reference to its um, the banks in the Sprayden domain, if it goes anywhere near that. But it's a pleasure to have the drainage guys doing a presentation on this and a consultation, and the community, generally speaking, responds really well when the drainage guys respond. They also consult with us on their plantings. Our board favours um, native tree plantings, and especially the noble trees. If we can get a totra or kahikatea uh, in, we will. And we have had support from the water engineers on that as well. And apropos of that, we often see, far too often actually, contractors putting in random trees in random places on our riverbanks. They just appear. And they've got no, there's, there's no design or seeming intent. And one um, cypress appeared down um, at the Heathcote near the Ashgrove Reserve. The Ashgrove Reserve is recent, um, the uh, Lower Kashmir Residents Association has recently become the kaitiaki of the Ashgrove Reserve and they are restoring the native plantings in it and doing such a good job. And there are three kauri in there for God's sake. Um, and so, so they're working really hard in there and all of a sudden the cypress appears. And they asked why, and we had a great response from the arborist who has had the cypress removed. But I don't know why those random plantings occur. Well, um, we launched on July the 4th 
um, the age-friendly sprayed in Kashmir um, uh, project. Um, when I hear the words age-friendly, I want to rest my head gently on the desk <laughs> and have a quiet doze. Um, that's what the senior, it emanates from Wellington and the senior citizens office calls it age-friendly. I do hope we change it. Um, I made an introductory remark that referred to the fact that this generation that is ageing now are the generation that invented sex, drugs and rock and roll. And I've often said that before. And this is a generation that was a generation when generations weren't talked about. In the, and when this group were born in post-World War II, generations weren't remarked on, teenagers didn't exist. Generations now exist ad infinitum. And this generation isn't going to tolerate the patronising crap that gets delivered to older people. I have great hope that this generation makes a nuisance of itself, <laughs> um, as they have done before. And I'm hoping that they'll lead the way for the ageing generations to come, of which you are all members, <laughs> and um, that they will cause um, a bit of a stir in our neighbourhood to ensure that ageing is not treated the way it has been in the past and is treated as inevitable and bold and fun. fun. It's actually fun. Right. And I can tell you from first-hand experience. So uh, we did have, uh, we had Diane Turner from the Senior Citizens Office and Simon Templeton from Age Concern and Helene Mountner presenting to the audience, but I'm hoping that, and, and they did a great job, and it was great to have them there, but I am hoping that the group, when it's convened and starts at work, starts to think adventurously and with excitement about the ageing. And just apropos of that, I, um, yesterday at, and there were people there from here, um, the Housing Network had uh, Kay Savile Smith speaking about the ageing and rental properties and the decline in home ownership um, from t the beginning of this century, 2000, to now is startling and it's most startling in the 40 to 45 age group area. Mm -hmm. So the housing issues, thank God the Christchurch City Council of all local bodies leads in, in talking about housing and social housing and I'm really personally very grateful for that. Um, the Spraden um, Kashmir, we used to have, um, for instance, an event in Barrington Park, but the staff recognised, and the staff recognised this before we elected members probably, that it no longer looked like an event that was led by the community and was, an, uh, and was supportive of community development. They recognised that, uh, that the people who participated in this event we were becoming increasingly commercial and, and, and there was no longer groups of people in, enjoying community development. So they've, we've, we've, we've canned that particular event but asked the community to think of events that they care about and that would support community development in their area and to support that, the community development staff have a get go, um, get set go workshop to talk to community groups about community development and about event management. And we've had considerable success in, the, for instance, the rally community in developing the, um, the project around the basketball lights and in making the Hoon Hay Fiesta a much larger event and the Rugby League has become involved, the, and including the Pacific Festival, and the schools in that area have become involved, and the schools in that area have become involved because the, um, the, uh, the cultural event that's held for schools is too expensive for them. It's too expensive for them. So they're developing their own program around um, a Hoon Hay Fiesta and the community development team in our ward are working to support that energy and drive that's coming from the community. And we, we are finding it very, very interesting. And I actually must get to go to one of those um, workshops myself and actually learn something about it too. Um, we're, we're, uh, the community board pamphlet is being developed after Mel's nagged for six years, I think. And we'll be going out with, this, uh, with the second rates notice and we'll no doubt after people have sat down quietly on receiving their rates notice um, and might um, become more conscious in terms of reading something, 
will no doubt be taken up with interest by the people who receive it. Um, the, and the final thing, on the same day as the senior citizens, uh, sorry, as the age friendly, we presented to Jeremy Agar um, of the uh, Summit Road Society, and there he is, a very large cheque for 45000 for Predator Free. Mm -hmm. And we were absolutely delighted. Jeremy had a tear in his eye. He has worked so hard on this project. It was led by him. The Summit Road Society was originally a bit thoughtful about the effort it might take and whether they could um, find the financing for it. Um, it requires really good statistical collecting. But on the, uh, on the weekend after Jeremy got, took the cheque off us for $45,000 for Predator Free, there were over 200 people at a workshop at St Martin's School on how to become predator free. It's a triumph in our area. I know it's a triumph elsewhere in Canterbury, but in our area we've taken this issue on at a personal level and we are thrilled with the results, thrilled with the Summit Road Society, very proud of Jeremy's work um, and the work that he's put into the Summit Road Society and the wider community everywhere on Predator Free. And there are some of the kids as well who got some t-shirts for a separate prize on how on, on um, drawing design a t-shirt. And they got separate prizes on um, the designs of their t-shirts about Predator Free. So, and is that it from us? Yes, it is, I think. Fantastic. Tim, you'd like to move that and Phil would like and, to And it. just note, Leanne, our group, we didn't take up the time. You know, the time? We, we only took up our time. We didn't take up time. No. No. We were on punctual. 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 You stopped it dead on 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. But congratulations to the board, I just think, um, going out and, and actually uh, engaging with the community about how they can take control of things. It's, uh, it's, it's wonderful, so yep. really congratulations. Uh, credit to the staff on that, very much credit to the staff. Phil, yep. Pauline. Yeah. Carolyn, look, thank you for your report, and you've touched on, I guess, some quite high-level strategic issues too, if it comes to older people and shorter, the housing being unaffordable. And it's just how, and perhaps, in, and you, you certainly acknowledge that council have a strong history in that social housing area. I'm just wondering, uh, while I consider it, how, in fact, we have all this joined up, the work that our housing committee do, and Glenn was at the seminar yesterday too, um, and, and that the, the, the group, that the age-friendly group in Kashmir. And then, of course, what we really need is that, as Kay Savile said, is how, in fact, we make sure that the silos at central government level are broken down so that every government department is involved with this issue. Yeah. But perhaps that's something for future exploration so we actually become strategic about this. Yeah. Pauline? Oh, yeah, I'm really concerned about this Monarch Butterfly um, business because when it was first brought to my attention with the Abbey Park issue, um, and um, I think I forwarded it to the appropriate board because we've lost Abbey Park. Um, but as a staff response, um, they could not actually 100% confirm that it was rats. Has your board asked those questions about what it actually the is? The same woman came uh, yes, it, yes, was in our board area yeah. and she is very firm that it is rats because they, the wings are left and the bodies are gone. Yeah, but even though, I know she gave me all those photos, but even though staff have come back and said they can't confirm that it is actually rats, so... Is come. anyone doing any more investigative work not that on I this? Know. It's, it's not in our board. So do they think it is rats? And the other thing is we need to get the feedback on whether the rings are actually working. And um, Because it seems to be that it's city-wide. It is. So you've got Sprayed yeah. and you've got um, Abberley Park and Burnside Park, just the three that have been noted. No, well, Beckenham Park's got a huge monarch butterfly tree with no monarchs in it right. this year. Yeah, rats don't recognise the ward boundary. No, no. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that, and it could actually be a, um, it could actually be an aftermath of the quake as well, because we did have a huge rat explosion of population in the CBD, and they're probably moving outwards. There used to be a really big tree in um, the Burwood Pegasus area around that walkway around Lake Terrace Road. 
There was a big tree there with monarchs in it. I don't know if they're still there. I think, Pauline, we should get a staff member who's just hanging around doing nothing. Be, <laughs> um, and no, I do. I but it would be nice think, to yeah, know, I'm just, though. I'm just yeah. trying to work out with the chief executive, is, is there a committee that this can get a report back to so that... I mean, there's, work, there's a working group going on, so there's a working group within council, so it is being addressed. OK, well, probably so through ITI would be, the environment would be... Oh, environment. We could have a monarch yep. chair. Well, I, I'd, be, I'd be happy for it to come through mine, I'm quite Who's passionate queen? about it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, okay. So, 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 is it is it possible to arrange a briefing for the for the ITI committee just on where the program's up to? Great. Uh, Thank you. We have, a, we have a park ranger in our ward who's been involved in this issue, yeah. and so it would be good to tap into those people who already have some knowledge. Like, yeah. yeah. Which park ranger can you mean? Yeah. They're, they're, look, yeah. The coming, yeah. coming yeah. says that there is there is a group within council that is addressing this. Yeah. So we'll just get a an update report through to ITI, um, and then we can refer it to all of the community boards because it will be across the city. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Patrick. Um, yes. New thank Zealand's you. Thank you very much. That's very <laughs> helpful. <laughs> thank you. We're moving right along. <laughs> um, so it's been moved by Tim, seconded by Phil. I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you.